Welcome to Smack Easy Garage series of working on the snowmobile. Today we're going to be installing the ride light on our sled behind us. This here is a ride light. For those of you who don't know what it is, it's a safety tool, it's safety equipment that goes on your sled that's going to help you and your friends be more visible while you're on the trails. I think we've all gotten in this situation where we're riding our snowmobile on the trail and we end up coming around a corner, we see one sled go by, we don't know how many are behind them. There could be uh, two sleds, there could be three sleds, you could be alone, you know, and whoever's behind them ends up taking a little bit of an inside, outside corner and it ends up getting too close to you for comfort. What this equipment does here, it allows you to set, a, set it to either green or yellow. Are you the only person riding? Are you part of a group where you have multiple people? You know, it uses the colors, so yellow and green to tell you, yellow, hey, I'm the first in a group of many, or green, I am either riding alone or I'm the last one in the group. So it, it's a very useful tool for having on the sleds. A lot of states are starting to recommend that you don't use hand signals. You know, New Hampshire, where I ride, is trying to get people to keep their hands on the handlebars and not take it off to say, I'm alone, there's one person behind me, all for safety. So one of the things that this allows you to do is signal to the other riders if you're alone, if you're with a group. Also with the influx of new riders, you know, I, you're seeing all the accidents that have been happening over the past few years. I want to make sure that people are riding as safely as possible. So for myself, investing in any sort of equipment for this, it's worthwhile. So let's go ahead and get the install started. All right, so in the box came a few things. We have the ride light itself. We have a power connector. It looks like transformer with it. That's gonna change the 12 volts to DC 12 volts. So it looks like we have a power, we have some sort of power cable here. We have the ride light itself, some self splices to put into the wiring and a lot of instructions. Three pages of instructions for plugging this in and powering this up. All right, so for the instructions, it says, you know, left side of the sled. You know, instructions say left side of the sled, which we're doing here. You know, painted surface is best. Keep it away from the exhaust so the heat doesn't get here. If you can put it on a flat surface, put it on a flat surface. So I feel like this and this are good locations. I think I'm going to end up putting it right here because I think that's gonna be the best location to point forward, at least on the sled. Down here would be good, but it's, I mean, it's more of a reach for me. Um, it's actually, uh, it's hard. No, it's a, it's a big decision of where you're gonna put your ride light. No, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna put it up here so I can reach it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stick it down. All right, let's go ahead and put this together. The nine volt battery is used. If you don't have power on the side of the trail, you can still power the hazard light on the ride light. I chose to power the ride light from the 12 volt accessory socket that's on the top of the ski do. That's right near the gauges. So it's fused, so it meets all the requirements. I would highly recommend soldering the connections and using heat shrink over the top of them. Now that I have this plugged into power, what I think I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna run this up and through here around on the inside of this panel out and then to power. This should give me just enough and I can make sure everything's zip tied in place. So let's go ahead and let's start zip tying up.
All right, now that it's completely smoky in here, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up, clean up all the wiring, but that's how easy it was to install the ride light. Thanks for tuning in to Smacky's Garage. Till next time.